So the term klezma refers to anything that has come from East European Jewish wedding music. As played by Yiddish speaking people. The sound of klezmer has changed over hundreds of years as different instruments have come along. Two sounds now predominate, the clarinet and the violin, both of which emulate the human voice. And early musicians used these instruments to create another key part of the klezmer sound, the kretz. has all those flavors, all that. That particular ornament is called a krechts, and that krechts means to gasp or moan or sob or sigh. And Yiddish cantorial music and Yiddish folk song and klezmer music is full of that. <laughs> What's important to realize is that 150 years ago in Eastern Europe, if you were a non-Hasidic Jew, you would have Hasidim living right next to you. So their system of prayer and their system of song and their system of, of melody writing would have influenced everybody. And some of the greatest tunes of the klezmer repertoire have come from the Hasidim. Now klezmer music has all kinds of instruments that wouldn't normally have been playing it back then. There are all sorts of different types of klezmer music, ranging from klezmer jazz, klezmer rock, klezmer thrash, traditional klezmer. It covers a very wide range of, of musical styles that all have an influence from East European Jewish wedding music. Klezmer became more than just a rediscovered music. It provided a focus for people to re-immerse themselves in a whole culture. And klezma as a term was now used for the first time to describe this revived music. And it stuck. And the klezma term is beautiful because it manages to find a category to put it in in the record store. You can't look through the record store and look for East European Jewish wedding music. It doesn't make sense. But klezma music fulfills that function. It also very conveniently takes the J word out of it. The klezmer renaissance coincided with an appetite for world music and opened it up to an international audience. The revival of interest in Yiddish culture and in klezmer music certainly started in the States, but that has, in a way, brought East European culture and Eastern and Jewish culture from over here, it's kind of brought it back and given us over here a chance to get back into it again. I mean, my Great-grandparents came from Eastern Europe, but without the American influence, I may never have found it again.